What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Fun with Friends Fun Fact Minisode. It's your host, Allie. How's everyone doing? This is the episode where I get to tell you about next week's adventure and then share a few fun facts about the main topic that we will be discussing next week. So this uh, mini-sode will be a little bit different because I wanted to kind of introduce the topic a little bit more because we don't really get too far into it in the actual episode next week. So we will be discussing traveling, specifically traveling to Scotland. And I have three of my really good friends joining me next week to discuss um, our various travels to Scotland and to the surrounding areas. It's a really cool episode, but again, we didn't get too much into kind of um, the tour that I went on. So I just wanted to provide a little bit more information about the tour and the places I went to. Um, just to give you a little bit more context going into next week's episode. If you're like me and you're just getting started with podcasting, it can be scary and overwhelming. That's why Anchor is such a great choice. It's one of the easiest ways to make a podcast, and best of all, it's free. It also has great creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Another great feature of Anchor is that they'll distribute your podcast for you. Your listeners will be able to access your podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many others. You can also make money from your podcast using Anchor, and that's with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place and it's easy to use. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. So I went on a tour with um, EF Go Ahead Tours and the EF is Education First. And I think they actually used to be a tour group that was mainly for educators and they now are, um, you know, open to everyone. (laughs) So I had been looking to go to Scotland for quite a while. It's a place I've always wanted to visit. And so I started saving for it, I'd say two or three years ago. Um, And then finally, you know, just decided to do it. And I waited until around this time, I think it was last year because I have a lot of really good sales like the Black Friday sale and the holiday, you know, Christmas sales. And so it was cheaper to book the tour in this month, November and next month, December. And so that's what I did last year. I just decided I was going and (laughs) went for it and kind of forgot I'd even booked it um, until probably like halfway through this year. And then I was like, oh yeah, I got to going on tour for my birthday. So the the one that I went on is the Edinburgh and the Castles of Scotland uh, go-ahead tour and it's a 10-day tour with 12 um, extensions. So those are optional trips uh, that you can go on outside of the normally planned sightseeing trips. To kind of give you the rundown, the, the description they use is from its ancient castles to its rolling landscapes and blaring bagpipes, Scotland is undeniably intriguing. With plenty of time to explore, you'll get your dose of well-known Scottish icons, then head a little off the beaten path, moving farther into the untamed highlands and over craggy hills, laden with lochs and Gaelic-speaking villages. And that's, uh, yeah, that pretty much like exactly sums up what the tour was. We um, started in Glasgow and then that first night you kind of just got to hang out and then there was a dinner that night where you got to meet everybody else on the tour that I guess first full day was a sightseeing tour of Glasgow which was just driving around in the bus so we we got to see the Borough Collection Museum, Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum, uh, George Square, River Clyde Um, and then you had the option to do either a free afternoon in Glasgow or go to drive through like historic Scotland and Stirling Castle, which I chose to do. And Stirling Castle was amazing. And they also had, there's like a cemetery outside of Stirling Castle, which was pretty dope. I enjoyed that very much. We also got to see Glasgow Cathedral and the necropolis outside of that, which was absolutely amazing. 
And then from there, we transferred up into the Scottish Highlands um, and stayed in Fort William. But we got to see Loch Lamone, Inverary Castle and its gardens, which was uh, one of my favorite places. Absolutely beautiful. And then had a group dinner that night as well. And then from there, we went to Urquhart Castle, Loch Ness, and Inverness all in one day. And then we also went to some Cairns that day, I believe, as well. Um, which was not on the itinerary, but our tour director was fantastic and kind of took us to various places that weren't originally scheduled. And then on day six, you could either have like a free day in the Scottish Highlands or you could do an excursion to the Isle of Sk Skye and Ellendone Castle, which we did. The weather was absolute shit almost the entire tour, but especially on that day, it rained a whole lot and the wind was brutal. So we actually didn't get to see a whole lot of the Isle of Skye, which was okay. You know, it was a little bit of a bummer, but I don't know. It The entire thing was so amazing. I can't really be, be mad about it. <laughs> um, I definitely would like to go back to see more of the Isle of Skye because we didn't get to see a lot of like the main things, like some of the more popular places on the sky we definitely couldn't go to because the weather was so bad. From there, we transferred down to Edinburgh and got to stop at uh, Blair Castle and the gardens there, which was just absolutely amazing. I really love Blair Castle, mainly because of the gardens. It was really, really great. We also went to Edradora Distillery, got to do some whiskey tasting, um, kind of get to see how they make the, the whiskey there. And that was really, that was pretty cool as well. And I did a free evening that night. And then the sightseeing tour of Edinburgh was the following day, which again was kind of just like a bus tour of the city. So we, we got to see Newtown and the Royal Mile, which are two um, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, uh, the King George statue, Butte House, uh, Sir Walter Scott Monument, which was absolutely amazing. And then ended at Edinburgh Castle, which at this point, I, uh, I don't even know how many castles I had seen, so it was kind of kind of over all the castles. <laughs> and so the excursion that day was to go to Abbotsford House and Melrose Abbey, which I actually skipped. I'd signed up for it and decided not to go um, because spending a free night in Edinburgh, free afternoon in Edinburgh, kind of wandering around sounded a little bit more appealing. So I kind of tagged along with a, with a couple of other folks and we actually went to the, the, the Elephant House where J.K. Rowling's wrote um, some fairy potter and so we got to go there and we had lunch and we kind of checked out some of the other you know Harry Potter places so like uh, Victoria Street and the graveyard behind the cafe where she wrote the book that had Tom Riddle's grave so that was really cool we kind of got a, had a Harry Potter afternoon and then just did some sightseeing and walked around and and um, did you know we're tourists it was great. <laughs> and then that last day was a, you had the option to go to St. Andrews or you could have a free day in Edinburgh. And, and I chose to just do a full free day. I'm not going to lie. I was a little burned out on the tour <laughs> group, just being around so many people and having such a strict schedule um, the entire time. So I definitely kind of went off on my own and literally spent the entire day by myself, got a tattoo and just, yeah, took a shit ton of pictures. I think I took over three thousand photos like not even exaggerating um which you can see some of those over um on instagram at miss Fay photo that's at m-s-f-a-y-e-p-h-o-t-o -E -O. and so it was just a really great day i got up super early and just went out and literally wandered through every street and close of edinburgh and yeah took a ton of a ton of photos um and then that night we had our farewell dinner which was in an old I think it was an old cathedral that had been co converted into a restaurant. It was really pretty. And then from there, I, um, I came home. So uh, it was 10 days full. Like every day was packed full of an insane amount of stuff. So, you know, it was, it was pretty pretty insane and it felt kind of unreal honestly to begin with like I, I I don't know I think I was going into it expecting to really have like a an aha moment I guess maybe but you felt like any other kind of like trip that I'd been on the only difference was you know the plane ride was longer than <laughs> the other ones I've been on so it, it was weird I, I kind of thought I'd have uh, had more of a I don't know I would feel something more but um, yeah, it just felt like any other trip. I'm sure if I'd gone to a country where um, they weren't, um, 
you know, they didn't speak English, it would have been a different experience. Probably would have, you know, actually felt like I was somewhere else, but that will be for next time. I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> But um, overall, like for my first international trip, I thought it was a really good one and it kind of gave me an idea of what to expect. And now I just, you know, I got to figure out where I want to go next. That's the big thing. Cause I kind of want to go back to Scotland, but I need to, I'm trying to force myself to uh, go somewhere else and experience somewhere new. Maybe I will go to London or like Greece. I don't know if you have recommendations for like great places to do solo trips that are easy to navigate please let me know because yeah i'm uh in search in search of a, of a new place to go and explore and, and try out so yeah that's kind of a really high level level overview of the edinburgh and the castles of scotland trip that i went on in october and again in next week's episode my friends um, Julie, Portia, and Caroline will be joining me to talk about their trips to Scotland and then also some of their favorite trips that they've been on and like some really fun things that they've done. So definitely tune in to that episode and yeah, have an amazing rest of the week. Bye!